So Toyota is in Yellowknife to evaluate our next generation fuel cell vehicle, which we'll bring to market in 2015. So we're here at AutoTech as our base of operations. It's a maintenance facility where we bring our fuel cell vehicle in, prepare it for testing, and then once we're ready, we come out and stage the vehicle from here so we can let it soak overnight. And then the next morning, when it's nice and frozen, we can start the car and begin our evaluations. Uh, what's chilly. The <laughs> first day in Yellowknife yesterday, I was not expecting how cold it would be. When you're out on the lake, even your face being exposed for a few minutes can start to really burn and freeze. If I were to have a mustache, you could see ice hanging from it. <laughs> so Yellowknife is a very cold, extreme environment. But if you think about it, we have customers that live here. So it's really not extreme. We need to design a product that can work for them. Okay, Thomas Hong, so go ahead and start the data and uh, time the fuel rate. Okay. Um, so I'm standing in our uh, mobile fueler that we brought here to Yellowknife Canada to refuel the fuel cell vehicle we have out here. Um, obviously there's no hydrogen station out here just yet, so until that comes to fruition we have to bring our hydrogen with us whenever we do testing. Okay, Thomas, how could you calculate the fuel rate? Uh, 40 megapascal. Okay, okay listen for the sound. Yeah, sounds like it's going too fast. So what pressure are we at? 62.3, so it's kind of, kind of slowing down, so... Okay, we'll let it go for a few more minutes yeah. just to top it off. Yeah. So today we're going to be driving to a town called Ray. It's about 100 kilometers for here, from here. and. Um, the road conditions are really interesting. There's lots of really bad undulations and divots in the road from the landscape freezing and thawing. And, and so it's a challenge to, to go through there without bottoming out the car and, and different things like that. Maybe we're going to go to the ice road. And I think there's bumps and cracks and maybe there's icy roads. So please keep distance in between the vehicles. Be safe. Right now we're getting ready for our uh, cold start. Um, making sure the equipment is uh, ready to go before we do that. The vehicle needs to be able to shut down and freeze at night and then thaw itself out in the morning as we start it up. So we're evaluating those controls, finding issues with those controls and optimizing those controls. We're looking for suitability issues, drivability issues, NVH, which is noise, vibration, and handling issues. So how does it sound? I mean, if you drive through a drive through is it too noisy to even order a cup of coffee? So those are some of the not high priority things we're looking at, but we're still trying to find those issues. So right after we collect the data from this EPC, we send it back to the engineers in the garage and we quickly analyze the data. And we, if we find the issues there, we can daily change the software and do the countermeasures every day. Some of Toyota's biggest uh, challenges are going to be in educating the um, customer on what to expect from a fuel cell vehicle and also to uh, support the building of a hydrogen infrastructure so that there are enough places to fuel. I think fuel cell vehicles are the only no compromise solution that's all electric and zero emissions.